Sports News Update. Good Monday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Artemis update on NBC 10. A first of its kind collaboration is focused on continuing to progress HBCUs. The Thurgood Marshall College Fund has a new project that is benefiting Grambling State University. Right now, we're focusing on on expanding our virtual capacity. Are we make are we maximizing the virtual space? Do we have relevant programs that are aligned with industry standards so that not only our students can excel in the classroom, but also become trailblazers and industry leaders uh, after graduation? The second one is that we continue to provide our faculty and staff opportunities for growth. Only well, community news, a local retired senior artist is inspiring her community through her artwork. NBC 10's Fatima Moravi spoke to the artist about her passion for art. There's something about art and your inner self that draws you to want to produce something. 90-year-old Joyce Parkinson's paintings are taking people's breath away, an inspiration she's now sharing with the community. Express yourself. And that's what painting is, it's an expression of yourself, your inner self. If it makes you feel something inside, you need to paint something that's nothing but a cat or a dog or something like that. Parkinson had a degree in communication arts, but she's been painting for decades before she took a break. But it's one specific piece that has brought the attention of residents of the senior living community at the Gardens of Somerset, inspired by the Moses and the burning bush. You paint your, your canvas and paint your white in canvas. You sketch it off and paint that white first. And then you take your excerpts from the story of Moses and the burning bush that I pasted in there. Although this piece was painted 15 years ago, Parkinson says this painting is a reminder to never stop doing what you love. Gardens of Somerset Activities Director Heather Hurley says Parkinson's painting is not on display as a representation of hope. I was amazed. I wish that I had painted something like that. Her family brought this painting up here to put in her apartment and I eyeballed it and knew that it needed to be hanging somewhere for everyone to see. The painting is now on display at the facility's art gallery. Parkinson says she's motivated to continue painting as she works on a beautiful butterfly for her granddaughter. Maybe God intended for me to paint this and to maybe it will instill some love in someone's heart. There's just no way that right now that I could just stop painting. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Valerie Moravi for your Arklamist News Source. In news trending online, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs will be going to the Super Bowl. This will be Philadelphia's first Super Bowl appearance since 2017. Super Bowl 57 kicks off on Sunday, February 12th at State Farm Stadium in, Ari uh, in Arizona on our sister station, Fox 14. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Trey Tonnison. Heard many of the complaints about the cloud cover and rain over the past week. Unfortunately, cloud cover going to stick around for the next couple of days. But the good news is those of you that are tired of the rainfall going to get a reprieve on your Monday. You won't see the biggest chances for rain until later on in the day. But this cold front moves through the state and actually parts of the southeast through the night into today. And it's kind of slowed overnight. The progression is slowed, actually progressing and slowing that air as well as it slowed down overnight. But the good news is rain going to drop off in terms of percentages and chances today, but that cloud cover sticks around on into most of the day. But throughout the day, don't be fooled by your high temperature here. We'll actually see this high temperature a little bit earlier than we expect to see normal high temperatures during the daytime hours. That's because that colder air will be trickling in throughout the day, resulting in lows tonight in the mid to upper 30s. A little bit cooler as well as that just a gradual trickle of that colder air moving into parts of the Arklamas. But on into your day tomorrow, we'll see those rain chances increase mainly overnight, more so into early Tuesday morning. Wednesday looks like a chance for showers as well. Finally, start rid ridding ourselves of cloud cover Thursday afternoon into Friday. The weekends dry as well. But watch out for those lower temperatures, and sometime this week, you can see some frost, maybe even some areas below freezing. Two weeks, just a little short of two weeks, to the Super Bowl on Fox 14. Well, that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues now. God bless.